And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Draven aggro. Um, pretty excited about this deck. I think this one could could work pretty well. You know, like we're basically, um, you know, like we're kind of like a a uh, aggressively slanted Demacia deck for the most part. You know, like we got our Scythrias, our Swiftwing Lancer, our Grizzled Ranger, that kind of stuff. But combining it with instead of like going full on Bannerman. Combining it with some really good cards from Noxus, because, you know, Bannerman's a little worse now than it used to be with uh, it not pumping up itself. And these Noxus creatures are better than what they used to be, because now we have this Imperial Demolitionist to add into the Crimson Disciple. And that's just a great combination of two drops. So going with these two drops instead of War Chefs and Bright Steel Protector. Um, so we can get we can get some like direct damage in there and we get by going Noxus, you get another uh, additional good one drop. Um, also, just just be be clear. Like, I'm not sure if this is like War Chefs and Bright Seal Protector are both awesome. Also, so we may play this deck, and maybe these two cards don't perform that well, and we think, well, I'd rather have War Chefs and Bright Seal Protector, but then and the rest of it. Um, uh, but yeah, we get another good one drop, you know, with a, with a three two. Want to want to stay away from the one toughness stuff for the most part, but Flea Feather Tracker is too good. Um, Noxus also gives us uh, Transfusion, a really good combat trick. It gives us Noxion Fervor, more direct damage, um, and just another very good spell. The Noxion Fervor is a, another way that we can kill Senna to flip Lucian. Um, and then, yeah, you know, we get a good champion here with Draven, so we got a good two and three mana champions. Um, I'm going to try one Cat of the Arm. I couldn't really think of, like, what to do with this last, last slot. You know, like, I had, like, these 13 cards that I wanted to play, and... Uh, I couldn't really figure out what to do with this last slot, and I'm going to try Cato the Arm, basically because um, giving plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm can be really good for a bunch of cards in our deck. Like, that could be really great on, like, Scythria, giving, making this an, a 9-6 Overwhelm. You know how, like, you attack, like, with Scythria and all the fearsome stuff, and they always, always chump block Scythria because the bigger blockers have to go to everything else because everything else is fearsome so i always have like those little creatures around that can chump block scythria well giving scythria overwhelm and making it nine power uh sounds awesome um but then also senna when levels up is double attack same with lucian both lucian and senna whenever these level up and they're double attack giving them plus three and overwhelm means they get to attack twice and be bigger and all that damage tramples over to the opponent it may be that Cat of the Arm will overperform and, we'll, and we will want to take out a Swiftwing Lancer for a second. But I'm, I'm not exactly sure. We're going to have one in for now. But I just kind of like looking at, you know, like our deck list and everything and, and putting this together, I feel like this is a really strong deck. So we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll have to uh, try it out first. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But I feel like this is a really strong deck. So let's get started. You think it there should be an option where you don't have to have 40 cards like where what where you can have more i think that's good i think that kind of um gives you like some i don't know constraints it's constraint the word but it's it means you don't do like some real crazy stuff i don't know i like it i like it that it's just um, that no you can't no no oh you're saying that they should let you have less cards no because it would make decks way too consistent you know like the the l less cards you have the more consistent your deck is and um, you know if you think about like a deck like burn aggro burn aggro would love to play like 30 cards because it would love to play just like the 10 best cards because then it's like the last 10 cards in the burn aggro deck are always like kind of worse than the others and and you kind of don't want to draw those. Like, you always want to draw, like, your Boonku rookies and your Dravens and stuff like that.
So basically my thought is I want to have Transfusion protect Draven. And that if I... And so I'm going with Senna instead of Draven. And also didn't go Demolitionist because... Um, because I only used two mana instead of three. But, I mean, I guess if I go Demolitionist, then I'd have Transfusion to protect these also. So maybe I should have just done that. Yeah, I guess turn two playing this instead of the Senna would have would have definitely been better, but oh well. We're here now. Fortunately we don't get to triple spell with our three creatures. It costs six mana total. Basically would rather use this transfusion in response to one of their spells. I can I can take some damage. I can um yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about being at twelve. We can do that. Rummaging away Rummage and Karma. They're down to 11. Do I need to kill Karma? I could go... I mean, I could use two spells... I could play rear guard and then have rear guard fight. Is that worth it? You hope and they'll die. Yeah, Mortimo, I do have expedition videos in the channel. Um, on the YouTube channel, go to the, go to the YouTube channel there. Go to the playlists, and under in the playlist section, there's. There's a um, one of me just playing expeditions. Hey, Warmonger stream. Fine, finish the deep deck. Nice. So they go to nine. Save this. Do y'all think that I should have single combated instead of transfusioned and had Senna kill Karma? It's a tough call. It's a tough call. Which one to do? As far as like attacking and killing them this turn, the transfusion was a better line. The single combat was the better line over time if like we wouldn't kill them this turn and if, if the game would go on for a while. So that, 
That's why it's kind of a, a tough call. Because right here, like, they're priced in, like... If... Yeah, with... The, the, yeah, they got a block with Karma. So, like, Karma was gonna die. That doesn't really do anything. All it does is keep, keep their Shadow Assassin from dying. Block there? Nope. No karma block. Come on, no karma block. Just just take seven. Take seven. Come on, take seven. Oh, I would love that to be their block. Come on, block like that. Just go ahead. Take seven. Go to two. Yeah, no, don't don't worry about these spinning axes. Nah, don't worry about spinning axe. Don't don't block. No, don't block. Darn. Darn, I thought we were gonna get him. I thought we were gonna get him. They spent a lot of time there, you know, thinking about that. I thought that was gonna be their block. All right, four life. So yeah, the karma died, and I didn't use my, you know, I didn't use my single combat. The karma still died. So we still have it to kill another karma. Single combat also nice with Crimson Disciple. Those two are pretty nice together. Um. It's just best to play my other Scythria again. <laughs> We're going straight to attacks. I like this music and I like this board and everything, but it's just too loud. I don't know why this one is like, you know, I don't know, 40% louder than, than the other boards. Whoops. Game. All right, wanna know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard Draven say that. Like, does Draven need to like do deal the lethal damage? Because Draven did the the lethal damage. Zexian, fifteen awesome months for that resub. Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you, Re Zexian. Yeah. Thank you, Zex Zexian. Uh, that was more difficult to say than it should have been. <laughs> Sorry, Zexian. It's too excited. Too flummoxed. Yes, uh, if you... This, this button right here, that's how you mute your opponent if they are emote spamming. I do like those two cards. I'll get rid of them though. That's the silence button. No one drop. Really, Fleet Feather Tracker? I was about to say, like, how does the Demacia deck always have. Um, Uh, 
That's worth the block. How's the Demacia deck always have Fleet Feather Tracker on turn one and we can't? But. Oh, I have no idea with that. Um, like, uh, no, I, I don't know anything about that. New Bloco, sorry. There's, I'm sure there's a setting somewhere. Okay, there you go. Somebody helped. Elise versus Draven. So I guess my plan is tracker just. I guess we're not playing tracker first even though you know it's better to play tracker first of course but playing this first because it's a real good blocker against these two ones um not for not for legends of runeterra mamba man but in other games yeah Elise is such a problem. Let's get a good look at you. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Let's see what you can do. I don't know if it's worth blocking the one one with the Draven or not. That's really close, but their deck has so many ways to deal one damage. I think I'll feel pretty bad if I if I do. And then they then they kill Draven. Really don't want to see Vi this turn. That's the the main card I really don't want to see. attack worth it? Maybe not. I, mean, I don't have like another transfusion or anything. Hmm. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure, Mama Man. I don't know what like the the format would be like with that. Um, I yeah, I'm not I'm not very well informed on uh, tournaments for Legends of Runeterra. Here comes the punchline. No.
I'm not going to really run out of mana. I do kind of feel bad for mulliganing some of the top ends. I did. Mm. Single combats just look pretty bad. Single combat a spider? It feels bad, but I don't know, maybe. Blech. That feels bad. Just killing one crappy spider. No, I don't know. I don't know what that is, Pawn. I don't know what deck that is. It's time. The Wands deck? Answer, give me something good. Give me like Vanguard Redeemer. It's like Vanguard Redeemer, please. The worst elite possible. No. I guess it blocks two ones. I guess. Oh, that's an autocorrect? Okay, yeah, the Sejuani deck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we played it. Um, you can see up here, like, um, our our schedule. Um, yeah, and it was good. It was good. I One of those one of those games that I lost, I made a, a wrong I made a wrong decision on a, on a turn, and another one we drew pretty poorly. But still, yeah, I really like that deck. I think it's a strong option and everything. But yep, it's up on the, the YouTube channel now. Looks like we're about to be one and one. It's an Ash deck. Can't really win this. Show them what we're made of. Let's do this. I was expecting Karina Veraza. I guess it's a little bit better, I guess. Maybe. This is eight damage. Let me improve this. Make this nine. Gosh, there are nineteen. <laughs> uh, that's so much damage that I gotta do. So that's eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen. I can do fifteen. Why did they block the two three?
do have a million cards in hand. I guess I could have tried to transfusion and, and pump that up so that then the Vi would have died. Maybe that was the play instead of just trying to get as much damage as possible. I, Because, you know, I feel like we're going to be losing like a, a longer game, but maybe that was like the play. So the problem is, so if I transfusion and pump this up with transfusion, then... Um, does Vi only level up when Vi's attacking? Maybe that's why I didn't have a Vi level up before. No, it is when I strike for 10 or more. So basically what I was going to say is that if I use Transfusion, then they'd use one of like their spells that do like one point of damage and, and uh, kill that. But maybe I should have done the Transfusion to pump up Draven. Alright, so single combat looked pretty bad. I like just kinda had those wasted in hand. I, I wasted one on like a one one spider and another one wasn't doing anything. Yeah, single combat did not look very good. Yes, I did know that. That yeah, um yeah, if you if you put mushrooms on your opponent's cards and then you steal them, you're drawing your opponent's cards, so if they have mushrooms on them, you take the damage. It's pretty rough. But yeah, that's how it is. Even though, yeah, that feels pretty mean. Alright, so we got Lucian on two, Draven on three. Turn four, we'll have you know, our Noxus combo, and then turn five, Lancer, turn six, Cythria. So we are, we are all good for the next, uh, well, up to turn six. We got a plan. It's Draven time. I guess Kato may, may play that over the Lancer, we'll see. May switch that up. So you have to kind of be worried about some frostbite. Never mind, they're Darius Katarina. I thought it was Ash Katarina. My bad. Yeah, that's that's this is this is a great curve. We'll take this. All right, Cato or Lancer. Which five drop are we discarding? I think with this aggressive of a curve and this aggressive of a start and everything, I want the aggressive card, which is the Cato. Tilt. Yeah, that's that's the problem with the puff cap thief deck. Sure, you make their library smaller, but uh, you make their deck smaller, but um, it doesn't help if if you're dead. Thirteen all. This is me. 
right, they got some Noxian Might over there. I see him. Yeah, pick it up. There we go. That'd be cool if they killed all three of my things and not Lucian. Down to five. Oh, I don't have the mana to play Transfusion, right? Because we're curving out. It's elixirs. We can't. Dra yeah, Draven Jinx is. That's a. You know, that's a. You know, a burn deck. That deck's even more aggressive than what I'm doing. Um. Man, this is rough. Starius is gonna flip. I have to. I'll just block with Cythria. We should kill him with this Lucian, so we should be fine. Depends, like an another Elixir of Iron would be really bad. They had a third one of those. Like if, if Darius gets to survive. Oh, a transfusion. Wait, why that? That wasn't a good transfusion. They just completely wasted that transfusion. That was really bad. It's like the the opposite of good. I guess they thought I was going, because I went down to 11 with the trample damage. I think they thought that I was going to go down to 10 and then Darius would level up. Like, if I would have, if I would have gone down to 10 and Darius would have leveled up, that would have been perfect for them. Yes, Draft used to always give a champion as a reward and it cost 3,000 shards. Um, but they changed that and they made it cost 2,000 shards. And not always give a champ. Now, now it gives an like an epic capsule every time. Plus, you can get more. Vomitinger. Single combat's absolutely gone, and I guess the Lancer's gone too. Where's the Senna at? We haven't had Lucian Senna shenanigans. We do have a one drop. That's something like all these games, like we have not had one drops. I think this is the first game we've had a one drop. Which is kind of crazy when you you know you know you're you're not mulliganing with the one drops. Yeah, I think they I think they kind of felt like the expeditions were I don't know, maybe they were too good of value before. I don't I don't know the change. I think the change was something about that. It was like too easy to get a collection. I'm kind of I'm saying that like question mark. I'm not exactly sure. I don't I don't remember. It was something like that. Because 3,000 shards is like what a champion costs anyway, and so the expeditions were just free because you got a champion for 3,000 shards, plus you could get, get a whole bunch more. And I don't know, maybe that was a bad thing. I'm not sure. That'd be gross if they had Static Shock.
Um, I don't know if seven wins you always get a champ. Maybe I, that sounds right. I haven't really done the expeditions. Uh, too. I haven't really played them since the change. Uh, because at that point I had, I had uh, already gotten the like all the champions in, in my collections. So I haven't really been playing the expeditions too much. Did an expedition the other night just in bed because you know now that it's on the phone that was really cool i didn't do that well though i um i did not get seven wins uh, it was late at night I, w I was drafting fast and loose i have a you know i had a small pile of the expedition tokens saved up and Is like if I attack with demolitionist and they just block demolitionist, then they could take seven. But the problem with that is, and like that would be good. I, I'd be, I would get rid of the demolitionist for them to take all the damage. But the the problem there is if they block the demolitionist and then just have removal spells for my other stuff, that could be a problem. Still have two mana for single combat. But if they play something that's not burst spell speed, why do I always say that burst? A, a non-burst speed spell, I could maybe kill the Heimerdinger. Play a spell does not burst speed. That's how that's how we say it. There we go, figured it out. Gotta keep them from making another 2-1. So it could go straight to attacks. Here's the thing, it's better to play Draven though. Because let's say I go straight to attacks, they use, you know, Get Excited or Will of Ionia, whatever, they, they get rid of this. Then I Noxion Fervor, then they have another thing. Like, they would need two things to get rid of it, which is certainly possible, especially with seven mana. 
Now, by playing Draven first, they need, um, like, they need to play a blocker and also have <laughs> interaction and then a second piece of interaction. So they're just, like, really dead. They need, like, something for the Draven plus two things. Yeah, so basically I need three cards instead of just two by playing the Draven. All right, three and one. See, there's nothing like there's nothing like super special about this deck, but it's just, um, yeah, it's just pretty efficient and uh, you know, bunch of good stuff early on, and you just try to get ahead, stay ahead, and against like the hyper aggro decks, you can go like the hyper burn decks, you can go just a little bit bigger than them, but you're still fast enough to finish them off before they draw enough burn spells for you. If the control deck has the, the removal line up and you don't have the threats, if you just draw all your single combats, um, that's where you can have a bad time. And that was what our one loss was. Do you like having one mana cards? Two games in a row that we have a one drop. Feel spoiled. Well, Dreadway... Well, Pawn, you said you want to swatch out a tr swap out Atrocity in Karina Control for Dreadway, but Dreadway is Bilgewater. That's a different region. You can't play Dreadway in Karina Control. Vi is a swap for Fiora and Bannerman. And it depends on how you build your deck. Like you, you need to build your deck around Fiora with you know protection and everything like that. Um, I don't I don't like the well I don't know. I'm I'm not sold on like Vi plus Garen as like the two champions to play in a Bannerman deck because they are both five mana cards and there are other good five mana options in Demacia. I feel like that it's it's better to have a different champion that's that's lowered, you know, like a you know, get a champion somewhere else on the curve than waiting till five mana. Um Yeah. You know, whether you want to play Fiora or Lucian or splash another region for something else like a zed or something That crawling sense, you know, that was a great turn for my opponent. Crawling sensation, arachnid horror. I certainly wish that, you know, if, if I would have seen that coming, you know, I certainly wish I would have blocked with the Lucian on that 1 1 the turn before. Something we'll probably forget about, but that the turn 2 not blocking the 1 1, it looks like it's going to cost me this because now they get to do all this. You know, they have a leveled up Elise, which is really difficult to deal with. You know, kills my Lucian and my Senna. Um, yeah, I haven't. I, I've played a couple of Fizz decks, and they neither of them were, were very good. I haven't really found a, a Fizz deck that, that looks good yet. Um, Yes, I, I have had a tie game before. I had a a karma, a spooky karma mirror where we both just had a whole bunch of removal 
and uh, everything, and the game went really long, and we, we eventually got to the point where we both kept refilling our deck with with the Karma's the Karma Insight. We would get, like we didn't have we didn't have threats that could win the game. We didn't have like nobody had a threat that could win the game, and so. Um, If they have Atrocity, I lose. So there's no real point in blocking and saving for life, because Atrocity, I lose either way. I'll try well, now, now top decking Noxion Fervor if I would have blocked and saved for life. Gross. At ten. I'm down to two. That seems good enough. Give this overwhelm. So that's four overwhelm coming through. Oh wait, no, we weren't gonna put him down to two, because right, because that, that was gonna get blocked. No. Um Uh oh. I'm in trouble. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Man, that second, getting a second skitter, that really hurt. I have five damage and they're at six. And I have five damage. You don't help. I need to draw like an elite that did like one damage to my Cribs and Disciples somehow. Should have blocked the they who endure. Should have blocked. Uh, I don't know. We'd still probably die to this turn mirror. No, so we would have done that and survive turn to mirror. Right, Draven? Draven with the one-liners. So I don't know. I like. I really like basically all the cards in this deck, but it just didn't really play out uh, perfectly. Um, Disciple and Demolitionist, you know, honestly probably didn't play as well as War Chefs and Protector would, to be completely honest. I think that I, I think the War Chefs and Protector would probably would have been better 
than those two. Um, yeah, and so basically playing playing Noxus, get the extra, you know, for not a ton of cards, but um, get that extra one drop with the rear guard, which is important. Another good champion here on, on curve with the Draven, the transfusion for the pump spell, the fervor looked good. And then the cat of the arm. There's a lot of choices up there towards the top end of like what you want to like what else you want to play at the top end. I'm you know I don't know if the cat of the arm is the the correct thing. Like maybe it should be the Genevieve. Um, that was the other card I was kind of looking at. Uh, I talked about why I liked the the overwhelm um, with that, but yeah, I like this deck, and and I think that. Uh, you know, maybe adding those those other Demacia two drops would be better. But I feel like I feel like just Demacia mid range, aggro mid range, without Bannerman isn't really being explored enough. I think everybody is just saying, nope, you just play Bannerman and, and play Demacia. But honestly, I kind of feel like there's some better things to do, branching out to some other regions and getting getting more cards. Um, especially that, uh, extra one drop is nice. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically, basically what I got. Um, and, uh, besides, besides like the Lucian version, I definitely like another thing you could do is like play another one of those Noxus two drops and then play, uh, play Garen at the top end instead of Swiftwing Lancer. Uh, definitely thought about doing that, and then you know, like instead of Senna, you're playing, uh, um, you know, like you're playing uh, Laurent. You're playing like Laurent Protege. That's another option to go. Decided to go with with the Lucian and the Senna, but that's that's another combination. Um, there's, it's tough. It's tough finding like the the like I don't know the quote unquote correct combination because there's so many options and they're all. Uh, pretty decent. All right, but that's Lucian Draven Aggro. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you learned some stuff. Hope, hope this gives you some deck building ideas. Um, you know, let me know in the comments, hit that like button and do all that. But thank you so much for watching some Lucian Draven Aggro and I'll see you for the next video.